Hello guys and welcome to my Ulephone armor review. I've been using this for a couple of weeks. Um, I've tested the waterproof straight out. Can we touch the screen? We can. Uh, I've tested uh, the freezing the phone in the freezer. That's quite frozen on there actually. And they've both passed the tests really well. I've been gaming on it, playing videos, and just general usage of the phone really. And I'm rather impressed. Uh, the build quality is definitely uh, there. Definitely a solid phone. Well, really well built and some nice materials used. Uh, they have the charging flaps at the top on there. And with this, you get USB cable. But the end is longer than your conventional charger. So you need to make sure if you need a spare one, that you've got a spare one. Because if you look very closely there, the left one is slightly longer so this will not fit in there at all and also the same with the headphone jack you have a longer connector to to get deep inside there that is obviously to assist with the waterproof certificate the ip68 on the phone that keeps it nice and waterproof and um, clear of any water in there so the physical buttons were quite uh, refreshing with your back button, home button, and your sort of a menu widget button and wallpaper button there. They work fine, nice and clicky. And also, keep your finger on it, you can shut down your recent apps. But what I did notice, after a couple of days of using it, is that it does actually have um, capacitive buttons here. So, let me open up Chrome. There is the actual phone. Now, if you touch above the home button, it goes back to home as well. So all these are capacitive buttons as well. So they're touch sensitive. So if you don't want to use the physical buttons, you can use the ones just above them, the capacitive buttons. Uh, so you have your physical and your soft touch buttons. On the side, you have your dedicated camera button. You have the SOS button, which I haven't used, but you can assign an emergency phone number to that. Uh, on the other side, volume up and down. And power switch on the top, which is a little stiff and can be a little bit difficult to sort of turn your phone on and off. So if I, you can hear the click, well I can hear the click, but you do have to give it a bit of a press. So with one hand, it's a little difficult. That's a little bit awkward. So, I mean, if we have a look at the price now, you can pick this up for £157.99. And it's got a hell of a lot of things going for it, really. I mean, it's waterproof, uh, shockproof. It can withstand freezing temperatures as well, as I've frozen it in the freezer. It's a 4G smartphone, octa-core processor, 3 gig of RAM, 32 gigabytes of ROM, uh, Gorilla Glass 3. It's 3,500 milliamp battery and I got about a day out of it myself and screen on time was around about four and a half hours. It's not too bad, it's not too bad at all really. I've seen worse batteries out there. If you're a heavy user then you're not gonna get a day out of it unfortunately. It has a 720p display and 4.7 inch screen, but a lot of the body, the bulky body makes up for the size of the phone. So it probably looks like you're holding like a five inch screen phone really. So we get to video playback and audio. If you can remember, or if you haven't seen yet, when I did the waterproof test, the speaker was very, very, very low after that test. Uh, obviously water got into the into the system, into the, into the uh, speaker area, and the sound was muffled. Uh, about an hour later, sound did return absolutely fine, and it's back to being nice and loud and clear. Yes, yeah, so the sound is uh, really, really loud on this uh, and clear. It can be a little bit tinny at times. Um, but that's no, fine.
Ooh. Sunny day that was. So no issues with video playback guys and sound is really loud. So quite pleased there with that. Real Racing 3 is really the only sort of game I play really. This uh, had no issues with this either. Get over. Yeah, game is fine, guys, on this. No sort of drop in performance. Let's straight out of that. I'll take you onto the camera now, guys. Taking quite a few photos over the past couple of weeks. And it's not too bad. I mean, bright conditions uh, and lighter conditions are a hell of a lot better on, on the photos. Um, there is a little bit of distortion when you zoom right in. Um, indoors, it's not overly great. As you can see there, it's not too bad. But I've definitely seen better cameras. I've seen better cameras without a doubt. A bit of colour change there as well, quite um, quite noticeable. So I'll include these in a moment, guys, just to show you. Um, like this picture is pretty cool, though. That was in a supermarket. Captured the colours really well there. Um, yeah, indoor photos. That's a bit blurry. It's not a bad camera. Here are the pictures and videos for you to take a look yourself. from the conservatory just to show you the quality and the colour the colour could be a little bit better it's not a true represent representation of what the actual colour is it seems to be a bit of a sort of a flicker as well when the uh, light changes Well, the quality is not too bad and the focusing is pretty cool as you can see right there. And just another little flicker as well there, it's like light changes. But you're not spending a lot on this phone when you buy it. But I have seen better cameras. Cool. Okay, it's Test the selfie camera on this phone. Looks a little washed out. 
but quality is not too bad at all for a front self, uh, front facing camera. Not bad. Cool. Okay guys, so that's the camera. I think I'll just get down to the conclusion now and on the overall sort of rating of the phone. Uh, personally, it's not a phone that I would actually uh, buy and keep myself. Uh, it's not the most beautiful of uh, looking phones. So I do like the, the real beautiful, sleek, um, sort of modern phones nowadays. Uh, this is definitely for someone maybe on a building site, someone who's very outdoorsy, very active, um, mountain climbing and all that sort of stuff high octane sort of usage and them sort of people uh, this is will definitely suit that sort of person but overall usage has been fine it performs as it's supposed to do camera could be better um, sounds pretty good screen is nice although it's only a 720p um, back to your life's pretty okay as well uh, so an average phone for me uh, but then you're paying uh, an average sort of price or a very very low price about 158 pounds, but it's definitely better than the BV6000 because there are a few little um, sort of hiccups and a few problems with the BV6000 when I was testing them. This I'd say is better than that. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to include a link in the description below if you ever want to take another. If you want to take a further look at it, um, please give the video a massive thumbs up or any thumbs up will do. Uh, to help my video and channel uh, subscribe to my channel uh, any questions please comment below and i'll try my best to answer them um, but thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one